Are you that yes man, that yes person that says yes to everything? I got a great email here and I'm gonna be responding. Roll it. Welcome back to another video where we've been exploring patience and that idea of being able to say no. In this video, we're going through this idea of how do we start saying no, how do we start saying it effectively, and of course, with respect, so our relationships can grow and not fall apart. Jumping into the email. Hi Nikos, I'm the guy you describe in your videos. I have to hand it to you because you describe people like me to the T. And I know when you say you have been there, you have been there. Yes, um, most of the things I talk about, I've, I've been there. I am a yes man. I say yes to everything. In most cases that I know I should be, I, still, I shouldn't be, I still do. It has caused my business and relationships to suffer. Your videos on business have helped me and although not all there yet, I'm making progress to saying no to new clients when I can't deliver. Awesome. I think I know who you are. I think you've emailed me before. My problem is girls. Every guy. You're not the first, you're not the last. I'm finally with a great girl and I don't know what to do to not screw this one up. She has been asking me more and she's been asking more and more of me. How do I make sure I don't fall in the trap of overpromising? Well, here it is. You've been working on something so hard and now you're being asked to take that skill set you learned with your business because you realized, hey, I'm saying no and now things are starting to move forward. I've definitely niched down. I've started really growing my business. It's working. I'm not saying yes to everything. It's allowing me to actually structurally grow to say yes in the future. And now you're trying to transfer those skills well, to your personal life. And this is a great place to be. Well, how does this look and where does this fall into play? Well, your business, what are you doing there? You're you're working on relationships. Has anybody been in careers and not been in a relationship to work towards growing their career? Personal relationships, well, that's your significant others, your family, your friends. They all play a similar role and it's, it's all about trust. If we're not building trust with the relationship, well, you're not gonna have a relationship. How does this all work? Well, boundaries is what you started working on when you started saying no to clients. You weren't crossing those boundaries. You created an environment where people can come to you and they can trust that you can do that thing you do well. Might be a series of sub things, but that main thing, that industry you're in. And this is where your friendships, your family relationships, your personal significant others, they, they play a similar role. You're not able to accommodate all the time for everybody, for everything they need. And when you start saying yes all the time, it does two things. One, you lose trust because all of a sudden, when you don't say no and you go do something and you can't do it or you forget to do it or you're too overwhelmed with other stuff and you don't live up to the expectation, well, the trust value goes down. Secondly, you're overwhelmed. You are stressing out. Your happiness level, well, it just kind of floats down slowly like a feather and eventually there's no happiness where when somebody started the relationship with you, they had this happy-go-lucky person that just was full of life and you know, they kept saying yes, but they also knew that how long will they go before I hear my first no. Put this into perspective. Trust is built because you are able to say no. You're able to create these boundaries. And once you create these boundaries and you say, hey, these are my boundaries, I don't want you to cross them. And when they are approaching that place where you're gonna cross them, then you can say politely, hey, no, that's not what I want, that's not what I need right now, that's not part of my own personal self-worth, you're crossing that boundary, well you're sticking to your integrity. And how do we actually stick to integrity? And how does that all fit in? Well trust is built because you are able to really explain and with a respectful way, hey this is my purpose, this is where I'm heading, this is what I need to do, this may be your business right now. 
And this is what I have to be doing. Your values, the decisions you're gonna be making are surrounded by these values and they're congruent to your integrity. Your decisions are based on that integrity. It's a magical thing. And as long as you're sticking to that, well, you're heading towards that purpose, that mission you have. If somebody is respecting that, well, you know you have somebody who respects you. And because of that, trust will build because you're sticking to it, you're moving towards it. Any girl that you're meeting or have you met in the past, they probably saw that in you and they were like, wow, look at this guy, he's full of life and he's moving in that direction, I love it. There's vision, there's motivation to achieve something. I can really build a healthy relationship with this person. But you keep saying yes, 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 no no's come out and then all of a sudden, the question of trust comes into play. And once trust comes into play and they're questioning, where's your integrity really at? Well, they're questioning your values and then respect for what you were doing. Well, it starts to go down rather fast. And once that starts going down, well, your attractiveness level goes down. And once the attractiveness level goes down, well, love is pretty much, you know, looking, you're looking for that love and that love is kind of, it's gone, it's left. Now, when do we usually say no? Well, it's usually when we've said yes a lot to stuff we don't wanna do, stuff that we are not congruent with in our boundary. And then all of a sudden one day we were like, yeah, you know what, this is too much for me right now. I'm gonna say no. And you've already created the relationship based on the yeses. So the person is waiting for a yes and then all of a sudden you're like, no, I'm not doing that. It changes the whole dynamics of the relationship you haven't built up that relationship based on your needs your wants and then of course that purpose you're moving towards you forgot about that now how does this look and why does this work well on the other side the person you're meeting well they have in their mind a similar idea of what they want they have their own business career or whatever they're doing and their life is based out of that if they are in line with their values and they're making decisions based on their integrity, well, you are pretty much a perfect fit because now you're gonna be accommodating for each other based on those. The person will see what you want, you will see what they want, you'll see what they need, they'll see what you need, and now all the decisions are being made with respect. Where one person is giving, the other person is taking, and then we flip the scenario and the other person is giving, the other person is taking, and there's this nice balance where everybody is getting their needs and wants met and the relationship starts to grow. Because what happens, you, you grow through relationships. You grow because you have the right people by your side to grow the right way. This is why we don't wanna have friends that aren't gonna help us grow. This is why we don't want to be in a situation where we have any kind of people around us where we're not growing, they're not helping us grow. And then we have to be with that significant other that's gonna see that same growth that we need. They're not gonna go into this fury of what they need and all of a sudden you become the doormat and they only want the things they need and want and that's it and you just keep giving. You're not growing and then the relationship is destined to fail no matter what. When you're looking for growth and you're looking for that idea of that person, no gives that growth. No is the ability for somebody to understand and communicate with you where this growth is going. Because you're stating to them, I don't want to do this or I don't want to do this anymore. Or I don't think this is aligned with what I need right now and I need you to be by my side to make this decision. The other person has a choice to accommodate and work with you or leave. But when you say no, 90 days, 120 days into a relationship, well, you're really not giving that opportunity for somebody to realize what you need and want, and then all of a sudden, whatever they thought they had, well, you're changing the whole dynamics, and ooh, it just became a tough relationship. Remember, uh, there's a lot of people who, when you're watching your videos and reading books, uh, just remember this idea that you will read. Life's a negotiation. Life, is you negotiating with the people around you and it's a give and take. They are negotiating with you on what they 
need and want, well, you are negotiating what you need and want. And this is how people grow together because if somebody does not have similar needs and wants as you and they're out to lunch for something else that you do not want, well, that's when you can make the, the good decisions to back away. I know that if I'm with somebody who does not want to grow with me in the idea of what I'm doing with the businesses, with the entrepreneurship realm, with all this stuff, I know it won't work out. This is a big commitment, it's a lot of work and I know other YouTubers and people who are on social media and who are consistently making you know, content to promote their businesses and people who are entrepreneurs, if you don't have somebody solid by your side to be able to see the, the amount of work, the amount of emotional ups and downs you'll have, the amount of energy that's gonna leave that has to go towards that purpose and they want to be there taking away your opportunity to succeed especially when you need that support the most it's it's hard to be with somebody like that you, you need to step up your mental game and you know that's something that you know you have to put on your list and when you're working with somebody and you're growing a relationship in this case where you're saying hey I don't know how to stop saying yes. I keep saying yes, and this is what's occurring. Well, now we have to ask the why question. And that is, why is the fear there? This is all fear-based. It's a, a, a place where you're worried for some reason that if you say no, it's not gonna strengthen the relationship, it's gonna ruin the relationship, and you're gonna lose this perfect new girl you've met. And I'm here to tell you that's totally not what you should be thinking. It's not what you should be thinking at all, because at the end of the day, this is about building growth in the relationship. It's about you being able to do the things I just talked about what your idea has to be is where are the patterns and this is what i would sit down and really write these things down over the next given month where are the patterns write down the patterns and ask yourself what is happening when i'm about to say no but then i say yes once you realize these patterns and these patterns are happening more and more in certain time frames or because of certain things write down what is the emotion you're feeling what is this fear factor that's coming on a lot of the times i talk to people who have businesses and this is the the greatest technology ever but the worst technology ever as well because people can't say no and a lot of the times their spouses it doesn't matter if it's male or female the spouses will be like hey i want to talk to you about whatever uh, even though they know you need to be focusing on your business they need to understand, hey, no, we're not doing this right now. We're gonna talk about this when I'm done working on the things I need to finish. When are you free tonight for me to call you? When are you free for me to pick you up for dinner? When are you free for me to come over so we can cook together and we can talk for two, three hours about everything that's going on? Unless it's a super important emergency, you do not talk. And at the end of the day, what is this other than for us to communicate so we can get together to meet? Nothing else. You're not using this to text the whole story of what happened at you know, Costco when you were getting your tires. Did you get the right tires? Yes, awesome, bye. I'll meet you after. What time are you gonna be done with everything? Seven o'clock, perfect. I'll surprise you with the dinner. Boom, done. That's it. What you will find is as you're going through these patterns, you're seeing these things happening. Now you're gonna ask yourself, why am I saying no? Where is that fear at? Is it a fear I should be worried about? In fact, somebody I was coaching went back to their spouse and was like, I don't say no to you at these times because I'm scared you're gonna love me less. And their spouse was like, hey, uh, you're an idiot. I'm glad you said no because I could feel that you weren't happy doing it. So we're not going to do it and I understand it. They don't do it anymore and it's amazing. the spouse does it on their own. The amazement, if you just open up and grow in the relationship saying no, that could have went a different way as well, of course, but 99.9% .9 of the time communication will help. 
get you to that point you need to be. Your goal is to realize these patterns, is to realize where the fear is coming from, is to ask yourself, is this fear a fear I should be worried about? Is this something I'm creating by myself? It's self-doubt coming up. And then ask yourself, why am I worried about it? Should I be worried about it? Do I need to communicate it? And then execute the no, not the yes. My name is Nikos Rentos. This is MentorsApproach.com. Hit a like and hit a subscribe. And of course, ring the bell so you don't miss future videos where we explore ideas and topics that will get you moving in the right direction. Music